This is Theta-4 checking in. Still no visual on the anomaly. Any luck with the UAV? That's a negative Theta-4. We're blind with all this fog, and thermal is a no-go due to the nature of 811's biology. Proceed with caution. Roger that. Randall, O'Malley, you heard the man. Roll out. Hey, Cap, not to question orders or anything, but... Ugh. Here we go. Hey, look, I'm just saying, if we didn't see the tree hugger already, we aren't going to now. We could have already passed her with all this fog. The man picked one hell of a night to send us head hunting. We followed the peatland north for another 12 miles before rendezvousing with Bravo team, so quit your moaning. We have a long march ahead of us. How do we even get put on this op? Doesn't this seem like more of a job for Beta 7? The Hazmatters, or whatever they call themselves now? I just follow orders. Best you do the same. What's wrong, Randall? Would you rather be picking flowers someplace else? Ha ha, very funny. Quit the chatter. Do you hear that? Hear what? Just... quiet. Oh. Oh. Damn. Ah, forget it. Let's get moving. <laughs> you all right there, Randall? I'm fine. Just... I'm fine. Mm. All right, all right. Walk it off, champ. Okay, Cap. I heard it this time. Spread out. And remember, only use hostile force as a last resort. We want to take her in alive. Command, we've got movement. Copy, Theta-4. Charlie team is closing in on your position. ETA, 20 minutes. Hang tight. Huh? Oh! 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 God! It hurts! Oh! Oh! Randall! 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 Fascinating, isn't it? If by fascinating you mean a complete and utter waste of Foundation resources, then yes. Fascinating. A waste? Whatever would make you think that? Oh, besides the daily hair salon service, platinum dental plan, and request for a pet turtle fitted with a hazmat suit. Huh. Mind you, the latter request was denied. But regardless, all of these sanctions are necessary in the name of research, Dr. Buck. This creature is responsible for an MTF agent's death. While I am no stranger to casualties, I just don't see why we should pamper it. I, for one, think to truly understand the anatomical nature of the creature, we should- Enough! SCP-811 is a live test subject, and will remain so until deemed otherwise by the overseers. Fair enough, Tim. I meant no offense. Right, uh, well... Good. So, what have we learned of the subject thus far? Well, what's truly interesting about 811 is its strange physiology. Its skin has slight abrasive properties and is a mottled green color that serves to camouflage it among the reeds in its natural habitat. Its sweat has been observed to act as a mild skin irritant. It has extremely oily black hair that has proven to be resistant to cleaning with conventional shampoos. Thus why we have its daily hair salon treatment, as you kindly mentioned. Mm-hmm. And what about its defense mechanism? The cause for Agent Randall's demise? If you're referring to the mucus, we are still trying to uncover more regarding that. The palmoplantar plantar surfaces of SCP-811's skin constantly secretes a clear, green-tinted mucus with minor adhesive properties. While this mucus does not appear to have any effect on SCP-811's own tissue, it does rapidly decompose any organic material it comes in contact with, reducing the matter into a slightly viscous black liquid. It will then absorb said liquid through its skin and directly into its circulatory system. 
Mm, lovely. With its limited understanding of English, it requested to be addressed as A. It has shockingly human characteristics. Mind you, not the type of lady you bring home to meet the parents around the holidays. Sounds like you have your research cut out for you. Ready to go inside and say hello then? Yes. I'm just waiting on Gustav to come back with his findings. Sorry I'm late. I picked up the radiology reports from Area 12 and was examining the anomaly's internal structure when... Well, I suppose I just lost track of time. And? What were the results? Well, the, um... Reports were inconclusive. Of course. <sighs> well, I suppose in that case we better go speak to the subject and bring its lunch while we're at it. Right, sir. Absolutely. Best of luck, gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> Doctor, what want? Questions. <laughs> Fred. Hmm. <sighs> oh. <laughs> 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 want questions? Yes. <clears throat> right. What is the earliest thing you can remember? Uh, how we is she? I don't understand. Early thing. Things before. <laughs> before box. Before. Before box. <laughs> Most before? Yes. <laughs> Man, tall. Oh, small. Very small. The man was like man. What was like him? This, this, this. Not like all. Like man. Like people. Your skin. 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 Wait. You mean you had skin like ours? It appears so. A. What after? Red, 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 do not throw up in that suit, Gustav. Oh, Gustav. Hey, thanks for watching the video. And thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. And you guys help make all these videos possible. Especially this group right here on screen. They're our highest donors this week. If you want to help support us, join these guys on Patreon or check out our merch store and buy some sweet SCP gear. All right, that's it for this episode. Stay safe out there and I'll see you all next week.